Hey y'all, out here at the Knoxville Drag Strip and they're having a Southeastern Gasser Association event. And uh, I found a 66 Mustang Gasser called War Horse. I think y'all are gonna enjoy. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. How cool is that? Huh? The War Horse. 66 Mustang Gasser. Man, what a cool car. A buddy of mine bought it. Now, I don't know how long he said he had it. Not too long. A few months ago or something. David Reese actually built the car back in like, I don't know, 2013. Won a bunch of awards. It's street legal. Um, drives it. Exactly. My buddy that, uh, that has the car, he drove it out to the show today. And uh, no problem. Said it, you know, it, we, you know it, as, as would expected for a uh, car with a straight axle front end. Uh, you, you're not going to go out and uh, run any autocross in it, but for what it was designed to do, it does that really well. But a uh, just an exceptional build, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a it's a street car, but yet it's a race car. Um, it's been raced, you know, back when David built it, when he first built it, he drove it on, I don't know if it's a power tour, but he drove it, uh, did nostalgia drag racing with it and all that kind of stuff. Now. The current owner, I don't know what uh, what he plans on doing it. He buys uh, he buys stuff like this and sells it and moves it around. So I don't know that uh, he's gonna run it down the strip, but it was too cool to walk by. I can tell you that that's for sure. A nice build, you know. Uh, but yet a, a race car, a street car, and you know a good example, a great example of uh, how they were back in the day, you know. A few things that are probably post-1967 on that one. Give you a uh, quick look uh, underneath the front there. Uh, you probably know what you're looking at better than I do. But it looks good. It's nice. It's clean. Craftsmanship looks like it's there. Again, you can look under the rear. You know. I know that's a rear end. What you'd expect on the interior, you know, all set up for race. Although I see that uh, you can carry a passenger. How cool is that? Maybe one day I'll get a ride with one of these boys. I love that big gas pedal, the foot down there. But uh, other than that, 12-point roll cage in it, all fabricated to be safe and, you know, no expense spared. You know, the thing was built to, uh, you know, like I said, it was built to, to race and drive on the street, be safe. It's a good car. From what I can tell, you know, what do I, again, what do I know? All I know is it's what's cool, and that's cool, right? 351 Cleveland, up under an all steel tilt front end. How cool is that? I don't know that they had those valve covers back in 67, but who, what do I know? I don't know nothing. I know that's cool, though, and it's a Ford to Ford. You know, that's the other thing. It's not a small, small block Chevy, and you probably could get away with doing it because, you know, it's a race car, and it's about going fast, not about making a match or, you know, being a show car or anything like that. Dude, out here today, this is about drag racing, quarter mile times, and being cool because gassers are cool, right? They just make me smile. That's a good-looking engine compartment. I like this all. You can tell. You can just look at it and see the work the qualities there. It was a very nice job on this, that's for sure. So there you go, from the Knoxville Dragway and the Southeast Gassers Association, a 66 Mustang Gasser, War Horse. How cool is that? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, don't forget to visit scottydtv.com for more cool content and an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the logo at the end of this video. Mm -hmm.